Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today is the 11th of January 2021. And of course, we are working on our big canvas. I jumped up here to make a quick video and I missed diamond painting. Hopefully, my voice will hold up. Okay, let me just uh, adjust myself over here. We opened a new section. Um, I was working on the confetti part over here. And then I went along because I saw the same symbols. And... Um, I figured, you know, why do one or two over here when I can uh, continue along, um, never fails, when I can continue along um, over here, this is the, um, well, this is the middle part of the canvas, so we have a long way to go yet. I was looking on the symbol four, so let me just continue with that. It's pretty light blue baby blue color actually my favorite color although since i've been diamond painting i can't say um, that i have any adverse reaction to any colors absolutely beautiful colors in all the diamond painting okay I might need a magnifying glass because I have a fantastic headache. Which is rather unusual. I think both hubby and I have been getting not enough sleep. He's getting ready for exam. He was on consultation yesterday and did very well. Um, they told me the um, points where he's weak and he has to um, renew those and study those over a bit. This is Hungarian constitution and yes, it is very difficult. Of course, he will have to take the exam in the Hungarian language. Naturally, he's not a born Hungarian, he's Egyptian. Hungarian language is extremely difficult for anyone to learn, foreigners. So I've been told. But he's doing very well at it. He has two exams in Hungarian language, one in English. So after he gets through with this um, constitution thing, then he's going to go for both the Hungarian and the English um, upper level um, test to get his papers. In this country, you need to know a foreign language for your um, diploma from the university and you need to publish something or another for your doctorate. So I have a book published, it's only 600 pages. Yeah. No, I didn't get it edited. Really, I didn't expect it to be a bestseller. It was just, uh, Something that must be done, so I did it. Obviously somebody found it interesting because it passed. You know, and I'm like, wow. Somewhere I read that everyone can write at least one book.
what my theme was um, in the direction of a child being a refugee and how it affects a child, let's say the events leading up to it, because the more I thought about it, no child on their own chooses to be a refugee, especially, you know, going down into some smaller ages. And um, nobody has my opinion either. And I loved, you know, living next to my lake where I was born. I didn't see why I would have to be a refugee why I would have to leave the country. So this was my point as far as um, expanding on that uh, theory or on that concept of how does a child look on the fact that they're going to become a refugee And when I did that, I never thought that things would change so much in the world in such a short time that um, something that I wrote, let's say 10 years ago, would be so very much relevant today. So maybe I should republish my book. Actually, I even forgot which site um, it was listed on in the, um, in the internet. But I know the people that read it thought it interesting, the ones that were actually interested in that era. And um, also a small view of how a child viewed socialism and communism and how it affected their lives. In a place like this, you learn to play by the rules that are present at the time. You do what must be done. Okay, I see which way that's going, I saw, yeah. Because there's a symbol five there and then symbol four goes the other way. One, two, three, so I'm going, I, I have to go. Yeah. I did some of the um, symbols that are difficult to be on the side. I definitely want to finish, if possible, that side of the canvas because it's a very awkward um, side, side for me to go and reach it. I'm really excited to see how the main part will look with the deers once they start taking shape. Definitely will be a more interesting canvas than just watching the back background once our wonderful animals start to come to life. Actually, I, I seriously don't know when it's hunting season because we don't hunt, so really was not considered concerned about looking into when it is. I know there are permissions as to what you can hunt. 
as far as controlling the population of deer and other game in the forest. Um, the forest rangers will tell you what you're allowed to shoot at. Preferably nothing two-legged that resembles humans, you know. They are not on a hunting permit. And they will check your game. They will check what it is that you're trying to remove from the park where you were hunting. Of course, hunting is a big lucrative business. And some of the hunters want to do no-no. So they have to be explained that they cannot get away with it because it will be checked. Uh, there's quite a few countries where you cannot take raw meat, fresh meat in. There are many restrictions that you need to look up on for each country. So you don't find yourself in a problem. You go for an enjoyable hunting weekend and you, then you find yourself in a very serious trouble of being, having a very heavy fine. So it's much simpler to be familiar with the laws of the land rather than be caught doing a no-no. Things are calm around here. This is like a small city and I am right on the main street of the city. And my desk is facing one of the front windows. However, it does not help as far as natural lighting is concerned. Because even right now the sun is shining and yet either I get a glare or I'm right in the middle between two windows. So the light doesn't light up the canvas. Goes to the side. Or else it comes in slanted and that's when you get even more um, even more glare. And when there's a big glare then I cannot see the symbols of course. You know that. And it's not pleasant for you either to watch me work when the canvas is glaring. I guess it must be close to three in the afternoon because I hear the church bells. They chime every hour, day and night. Yes, night also. They play music five minutes before the hour and then they ring the bell. Actually, it works automatically. It's a Swiss um, clock or whatever it is. They don't have the rope and the bells anymore. It works automatically. So they don't have a bell ringing boy anymore. I know we had it at the village also and there was a slight problem with it and then they didn't get it fixed. I don't know why, but I've been told that, <coughs> excuse me, I've been told that they finally did get it fixed and we still have daylight saving time so it automatically springs ahead and falls back. Yes, they will go into this continual daylight saving time, but I don't think uh, the European Union has made a ruling or a decision on that. As far as I'm concerned, I, um, 
used to it. And I suppose for the farmers and the other people, you know, the animals cannot tell time. It does get them a bit confused. And there's a bit confusion during the night and the trains and, you know, the other traveling things. When they read a gaining or losing an hour, so they have to adjust the schedule accordingly. In there, I'm trying to rest my my voice before I totally lose it. Okay, we are still on the symbol four. I wonder if this is going to be like. Ice in the snow, but this is a shadow would be gray. It's a light blue color, but on the canvas itself, it, uh, it looks gray. So it could be a shadow. We will see once I step back from uh, from the canvas try to figure out what it is that we're doing because right now I have almost my nose to the canvas and I'm looking at it sideways you know I told you that okay which way am I going yeah I definitely would prefer a much clearer drill field. Right now I can see the symbol okay, but Sometimes I'm struggling. Of course, I just double check with the uh, magnifying glass and then it's okay. Yeah, we have some scattering of symbol over here and over there places.
there was a small mystery as to <clears throat> when all these different uh, colors come together, what it would make up to be. Well, now I can tell, you know, I can make out what it's going to be right here, but sometimes there were times when I was not able to make out, especially if it is double-sided adhesive. I didn't want to remove the whole double-sided adhesive. So I just removed it section by section, and it was like a mystery painting, you know. Well, let's see what this is going to be when we get it all done. But all of them are absolutely fantastic, you know. But I definitely have an issue. I don't think that the thumbnail they have up, I don't think that that is a diamond painting. It looks more of a watercolor painting. Like I told you, we had something like that in Needlepoint in the old, old village house. So this is a type of painting that's been around for a while. It's in my grandmother's house in a small village. And I always thought it was beautiful. I'm very much, uh, I would say, a nature person. I was born near the Lake Balaton. So I'm a water person. Put me near a body of water and I'm happy. Not particular whether it's a lake or an ocean or what have you. Just let it be body of water, river. We have a river going through the main street over here in Couple Bar. It's called Araba. Used to be much bigger and much cleaner. Yeah. They polluted that, that one also. Still in assemble number four. So we're moving along nice and slow and steady, but we're moving along. I didn't have as much time to spend on uh, this project as I usually would because life got in the way. And I have a feeling I picked up a little friendly bug. Which I would not be so surprised with this weird weather that we are having. I mean, come on folks, this is January. We're supposed to have snow. There is no snow. Well, we're getting the cold weather now, so we got that. And some parts of Hungary have snow. I know I'm complaining about it every single day. Yep. And I'm going to keep on complaining until Lady Weather, Mother Nature, or what have you, decides to get with the program. Actually, the agriculture needs the snow also, so when it melts, um, there will be water in the lower levels of the um, the soil to irrigate costs a lot of money. 
very expensive and it raises the price of, you know, vegetables and fruits. We have a very large wheat market here in Hungary. Very large wheat fields. <coughs> and sunflower. And they need that reserve of water that comes from the melted snow. But then maybe we can get by without having the spring floods from the melting snow. We have a lot of small rivers. And when the snow starts melting from the Alps and things like that, those little rivers turn into big rivers. Sometimes I wonder, they know it's going to cause flood every year. Why don't they do something to regulate that? It's not like the Nile that you need the flooding every year to bring the um, fertile soil. We are moving along with the single place. Uh, and that does slow us down a little bit. But definitely that's the correct. <coughs> we can aim better. Although by now we have learned how to use our multiplicer also. It's amazing how much we have learned in one year. How many diamond paintings did you finish last year? Or are you like myself? I didn't count. I would have to look back over all the... Um, all the videos to see how many diamond paintings we did. We did other things besides just the canvases. We did Christmas projects, Easter ones, Valentine's. We did some army grooming. Yeah, I confused the J and the four over there, so I fixed that. That's why I moved that drill over. in there. That's a four. Again, I almost confuse it for the J. Same color. As far as the drill field is concerned. And there's a cave thrown in there just for good luck. I presume. Um... 
open up toward the background line that we did yesterday. I am definitely struggling with my voice. I'll be really very happy if I will not be able to talk for a few days. You will be absolutely tickled pink. I won't, but you will. Actually, that tired. He traveled back from Budapest last night and went straight to work for a night shift, which I thought was a very stupid idea, but he did it. yesterday okay let me give it a quick once over Are you upside down here? Yes, it is. There, now they're in order. Thank you very much for spending time with me this afternoon. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Please hit the like and the subscribe button. Bye for now. Bye.